Hey, dude, just start in there. Just because you have a prosthetic leg doesn't mean you can't do it. Swing your pitch in there, 13. So I just go out there and do it. When it comes to dreams, Dugan Smith swings for the fences. I want to be the first Major League Baseball player with a prosthetic leg to go, or if that doesn't work out, my second backup plan is to be a famous movie actor. One, two, three, and has he got a surprise for you if you doubt him? It's a great story, and I think it's a good for the kids to see. A story of a sports-crazed boy who has seen his life turn 180 degrees, literally, since a devastating diagnosis. It's bone cancer. It's a tumor in the upper, I had it in my upper knee. Tough. It was really tough. I mean, it's just life altering. To remove the cancerous portion of Dugan's leg, OSU orthopedic surgeon Dr. Joel Mayerson presented Dugan's mom, Amy, with a mind blowing option. What rotation plasty does is it allows you to move the bottom part of the leg. I heard, like, uh, we're going to completely cut his leg off, take portions of it and attach it to the top part of the leg. I didn't know what he was talking about. But if you were to turn your ankle around backwards, it moves the same direction your knee does. When I left, I was confused. And frightened. And turning a leg around? Turning an ankle into a knee? The first time you suggest it, the parents look at you like you're from outer space. Well, you're thinking, I'm disfiguring my child. Oh, my. And people are so judgmental. It was hard. Ultimately, the decision was Dugan's. And it was a no-brainer for him. All I wanted to do was play baseball again and play basketball. If someone wants to be athletic, and they want to go back to those activities. This operation lets them do anything they want. I was in the surgery for 20 hours, and two hours after surgery, I could wiggle my toes already. Huh. Yeah. Pretty excited. Yeah. <laughs> now, remind your eyes to believe what they're seeing. It's like a knee. Yeah. See, now I can move my toes really good. His bottom leg attached to his upper leg, foot backwards, fully functioning right down to the toenails growing. Slide it into the prosthetic boot. And now you have a knee. Yeah. Strap it all in tight, and now Dugan has a leg. And a place to take it. Deck three! Although he often pitches, Dugan is patrolling first base today. He's playing a good first base for, you know, having a prosthetic leg. You wouldn't really know. Well, I just fall down and I get back up. Everybody's like, are you okay? I just jump back and I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave me alone. He's a big inspiration to these kids. He works hard. And that might be Dugan's biggest contribution. He hears it all the time from opponents. And then they were like, you mean a lot to us. And I was, and I was like, thank you. And he was like, no, thank you. Music to the ears of a mom who knows how hard the road was back to these base paths, remembers the battle. The first year, I would look at him and, you know, kind of get teary-eyed. Many of nights crying with him. You can Google his name now. He thinks he's pretty cool. <laughs> Be 13. <laughs> oh, to be 13 indeed. Two years cancer free. On his field of dreams, heading in the right direction. With a foot that isn't. Every game is so special. I can't wait to get out there and show people what I can do. 